Tell me about this painting, uh. This painting was from a girl who broke my heart and she made a painting like this. So remember her, I painted this painting. Uh-huh. I paint this painting on emotions. Normally I don't do other people's paintings. I do only E originals. E as in head, not four originals. Because there's no four in my original. And this is a, a rendition of what she made. And for the record, uh, what is your full name? My name is Wayne. No, my name is Edward Austin. They call me Eddie. Or crazy Eddie here at Reed Manor. And you're not related to Andre Austin. I don't even know that bum. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, I'm not related. Okay. Maybe in a kindred spirit kind of way, but otherwise. Now, let's see your recent masterpiece of the. Um, uh, R replica of the uh, oh. Eddie Burns picture. Wow, that is a super picture. Yes, it is. I was influenced to do this by my brother uh, painting it, and uh, then I was inspired by someone wanting me to paint it. And halfway, when I got to this guy, so. Only this wasn't done, and I decided not to do it until the guy came down and he was happy as a child. And there's nothing more greater than the child being happy from something that I created. And who is that mysterious person you're talking about? Uh, his name has, first name has an A, and his last name has an A, and that's all I got to say. It's Andre Austin, for the record. For the record. For the record. But, okay, now let's compare that with the original, which is right here. If you, yeah, if you can bring that down. And yeah. Took this, which Andre went and had him and blow up off the album covers that he um, purchased. Uh huh. And um, then I took it, and like they do, because I have been incarcerated before, incarceration the cheap way of doing is take pencil and scribble all across the back. Mm hmm. That's a like a poor man's way of. Uh huh. At least when you're locked up. Uh huh. And then I took it and I laid it on this. Mm hmm. And then I drew over everything on here. I left these two signs out of the original painting so it will be a difference and there will be no infringement kind of thing going on. Even though this painting is much brighter and lighter and the shading is different. But yeah. That's what I was saying. I drew everything in pencil. And when I took it off like this, this all was drawn on here like I drew it under with. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse you. Okay. And then, <laughs> I, then I colored it so like like a coloring book, and then I colored it. And originally, this man is shaded like the, the guy on the original picture. Mm -hmm. I was going to say it like that, and then I thought about the infringement and copyright details. So I changed the shading a little bit. I changed the coloring of the people as far as being lighter. And different shades of brown for uh, African American people, mm -hmm. um, and then I made it all lighter, and I changed the back of the room not to be so dark as the pictures to bring the picture more out this way. Hey, I think it looks great, and um, I hope by publishing this on YouTube and other uh, uh, places that it uh, inspire some young, gifted, uh, uh, and, and, and people of color to. Uh, make art uh, a career, uh, you know, stuff like that. And I'm glad to be a part of it. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. I hope I can be someone's inspiration. Okay. All right. Let's cut.